The Book of Psalm, Chapter 32 A Psalm of David, A Contemplation Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute inequity, and in the whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old, through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. Salah. I acknowledge my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Salah. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you. In a time when you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my holding place. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. Salah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and a bridle, or else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. The Book of Psalm, Chapter 51 A Prayer for Repentance To the Chief Musician, a Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone into Bethsheba. Have mercy upon me, O God, According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in inequity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden parts you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my inequities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasures to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem, and then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. The Book of Psalm, Chapter 86 Prayer for Mercy with Meditation on the Excellencies of the Lord A Prayer of David Bow down your ear, O Lord, hear me. 
for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am holy. You are my God. Save your servant who trusts in you. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I cry to you all day long. Rejoice the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor are there any works like your works. All nations whom you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name, for you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. For great is your mercy towards me, and you have delivered my soul from the depths of my shield. O God, the, pro the proud have risen against me, and a mob of violent men have sought my life and hast not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are God of full compassion and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in mercy and tr truth. O turn to me and have mercy on me. Give your strength to your servant and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign for good that those who hate me may see it and, it, and be ashamed. Because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. The Book of Psalm, Chapter 122 The Joy of Going to the House of the Lord, A Song of Accents of David I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together where the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord to the testimony of Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord for thrones are set there for judgment the thrones of the house of David pray for the peace of Jerusalem may they prosper who love you peace be within your walls prosperity within your palaces for the sake of my brethren and companions, I will not. I will now say, Peace be with you, because of the house of the Lord our God. I will seek you. I will seek your good. All right, guys. Thank you very much for following along. I had uh, in the middle of this. I saw that I w did not have my camera up and running, but I decided instead of redoing it all, which I could have very well do. It was only 15 minutes of my time to reset and redo, uh, since Psalm is a um, easy read and very short read. Um, I decided to not do it over again um, because people fail. But it's not a failure. It is people adjust. People can um, understand that mistakes happen and it's okay to move forward uh, in the learning process so I really appreciate you guys and I really appreciate you listening into today's uh, reading it happens to be Mother's Day so I not sure when you will be reading this but or listening to this but whenever you do just know that I say happy Mother's Day to all of you whether you are a mom whether you were, were a mom whether you're going to be a mom or um, or whether if you're uh, any person, any female who has ever taken care of anything like a pet, a child, your grandparents, uh, their own mom, you are a mom. So that is my two cents and that's what I believe. So happy Mother's Day and again it's not a failure to decide that 
what you're doing is good enough and you can proceed. So anyway, there you go and have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.